In the quest to better our lives, scientists at Bristol University have continually been working on interesting research. The latest of all things involves soap. Otherwise known as surfactants in the scientific community, they're used in everyday life. From brushing your teeth to washing your dishes, you're using surfactants. All cleaning products contain these chemicals and they're important for a wide range of uses, including the upkeep of your car. Working on this project is PhD student Paul Brown. His research has helped the university develop a surfactant that could be manipulated by magnets. We interviewed Paul to find out more and asked him how they came up with such an idea. Well, first of all, we came across it just by doing other research. Um, so we were investigating surfactants for other uses and we thought, well, we can use light to change the characteristics, we can use pH, so why not try a magnetic field? So we're continuing this work with magnetic surfactants for uh, industrial applications to see if we can scale up what we've done, to see if we can investigate other applications that we haven't already thought of. So the surfactants were like normal surfactants. They um, can be used for cleaning and washing normally. They f make foams, but they have an extra addition now that they respond to a magnetic field. So it's conceivable that we can use them in a solution and pull them back out of solution without using any energy, just using a, simply a magnet. The surfactant industry is worth £18 billion, pounds, so it is big business. We asked Paul if he thought the magnetic soap would be a better solution to what's currently available. We don't yet know that it will be a better solution, but we could foresee that we could recycle some of the surfactant that's used, or we could get to places, hard to reach places. You could imagine cleaning bits of machinery where you can't get the surfactant back out, or now perhaps with a magnet we might be able to pull it back out. But these are all ideas that we are yet to prove and quite excited about proving. <laughs>